Rightio, here are the non-stick fry pans. Fry pans we have here, yeah. Um, I think the best way for you to explain these to me is to just take me through them one by one. One at a time? Shop. Sure. Right. Okay. So the one we have here is called Scampang Classic. Uh -huh. uh, it's a titanium coated aluminium. Right. Uh, features are that it can go in the oven at 260 Even degrees. Even with this handle? Yep. Right. People do think it's plastic, but the material it's made from is heat resistant. Okay. Uh, this one's a little bit thinner than all the others, so it does actually get hot a little bit quicker. Mm-hmm. And what about this one? This one's by Circulon, it's called Circulon Infinite. It has a stainless steel handle, mm -hmm. riveted handle, so it's nice and strong, no screws or bolts. Um, and it's actually a 2.5 mil aluminium. Okay. Non-stick inside and out. And it's quite Easy deep. Cleaning. It has got a lot of depth through it. Uh, with the hard anodizing process, it actually distributes the heat evenly. Right. So with that depth within a pan, you can do more things like frittatas and risottos and things like that. That's what I, I thought frittata when I saw yep, that pan. Yep, you've got that nice depth. <laughs> It's from Circulon, yep. they're two different ranges. Infinite's the anodized aluminium. Yep. Steel Elite is a stainless steel body, same non-stick formula on both of them. Okay. Different handles, silicone and stainless steel. Right, personal taste? Yeah, you'll get a feel for it, put it in your hand, see what's more comfortable, a bit more of a professional look with the Infinite. Yep. And with the Steel Elite, you do have a silicone handle, so it's only 200 degrees in the oven. Okay, now this one, I cannot believe this is true. The Rolls Royce. Diamonds. It has diamonds going through its non-stick. Each non-stick formula is pretty much just different ingredients. They, at Swiss Diamond, have actually put diamonds, diamond dust, sort of going through their non-stick. That makes it more durable, long-lasting, and distributes the heat more evenly. Okay, well, this one looks like a girl's <laughs> best friend to me. Exactly, <laughs> try putting it on your wrist though. <laughs> And uh, this is very, very heavy, isn't it? It is a very heavy. This is the one by Analon. They actually have a full silicone handle. Mm -hmm. um, so we're sticking with the 200 degrees in the oven. Yep. Um, it is uh, non-stick inside and out, but not the base. Riveted handle, so it's strong. And I think this one, because the edges are a little bit um, slopey, yep. can I say, it looks like you could slide eggs or something off yeah. it quite easily. Uh, some pans, are, they all have different uses. Uh, some do concave outwards a bit better yeah. than others, some go straight down, but then we go into a whole range of different shapes and sizes within our stores. This one that we talked about before. That's correct, so this is Jamie Oliver's new professional range. Yeah. We've got the thermo spot to take the guesswork out of when it's hot enough to start cooking. Which uh, I it's love. a feature they've had for quite a while, so it's a brilliant little thing to get people started in knowing how to cook. Okay, so here are my three non-stick pans. Yeah. And how do I keep them non-stick? Uh, good quality cookware will come with a lifetime guarantee against manufacturing faults. Yeah. Um, we do suggest several ways to look after them so they do get a good lifetime out of them. Okay. Um, first one, uh, you do want to try and avoid metal utensils. There are so many other ranges of utensils. You can buy nylon, silicone and wood. Just mm. try and avoid it. A lot of them do state they're metal safe, but there's no harm in avoiding it. Okay. Um, you do want to clean it extremely well. Um, what you want to do is, once you've finished cooking your food, mm -hmm. do take everything out of it, at least submerge it in hot soapy water um, and try and get it clean and not leave any acidic sort of okay. products in the pan. The Circulon brush we have here, something we stock at all of our stores, it's a nylon brush. All the bristles are nylon and so is the head. Yep. So you can go as hard as you like at this non-stick technology, nylon will not damage your okay. pans in any way. So what do you think I've done to mine because it's no longer non-stick? I actually take steel wool to it now. Yeah, well as we said avoid metal utensils and even cleaning products yeah. to uh, you might scrape away your non-stick. Okay. Um, something that could have happened is you could get oil build up so not cleaning it enough or hard enough and also when you use a spray oil you're actually putting a thin film of oil onto a hot piece of cookware it's got no body or mass to it so it will right. burn in seconds okay. and you're not actually losing your non-stick you're actually putting something on top of it. Oh, so okay. then you, the non-stick can't do its job. There's one more fact that you need to consider. Um, with this hard anodized aluminium technology, you do have to start on a low to a medium heat to start with. You have to allow the heat to distribute itself throughout the pan. Then you can turn it up nice and high to do things like steaks and searing off meats. Okay, because I do blast. So that could be my problem. I've turned yep. it on high thinking I'm in a hurry and I've just put it on. Exactly. And yep. You just it's need to let thing. it warm up. Uh, what you might find is your pan, if it has had that high heat, either little flakes coming off the top surface or blackened at the bottom. Mm. Obviously, you don't want that non-stick technology in your food. Mm. So, yeah, just stick to that rule. Let it warm up mm. while you do your preparation, and then it's good to go. Okay. Thank you so much, Simon. And mm -hmm. now I'm going to go home and lovingly look after all my pans. You know how to now. <laughs> Be a bit nicer to them. <laughs> <laughs>